Hi, Joanne. Hi, Martin. You're a product manager focusing on serverless security, right? Yes. Great, because I have some developer questions for you about software supply chain security. Great to hear, and it's one of my favorite topics. So, Xiaowen, I hear from developers who are worried that they might be vulnerable to software supply chain attacks. In the recent SolarWinds attack, the attacker compromised the build platform. And in the CodeCov attack, the attacker uploaded an artifact that was not built by the CICD system. How can I protect my system? Well, Martin, it's a complex problem, and we want to help developers navigate it. One thing you can do today is to use binary authorization to make sure that only approved builds can get deployed to Google Kubernetes Engine or Cloud Run in your project. Great, because I have a Cloud Run service here that I'd like to secure so that no one can bypass my CICD pipeline. Uh, can you walk me through it? Sure. And I know that you use Cloud Build for your CICD pipeline. So let's first enable binary authorization on your project. Go to the Cloud Console and click the hamburger menu. Then select Security and Binary Authorization. Click Enable to turn on the API. Now let's deploy your Cloud Run service again. OK, doing so now. Uh, this will also take a minute. And now that it's been deployed, let's go back to Binary Authorization and click Attesters. You will see that an attester has been automatically created. From now on, this attester will cryptographically sign every build done in Cloud Build so we know where it comes from. The sign attestation includes provenance information, such as the source code that it was built from and the commands used to build it. Ah, uh, and what will we do with this attester? Good question. If we go back to the Policy tab, we see that there is a default policy here that allows all images to be deployed. Let's update this policy to require that all builds must be signed by that attester before they can be deployed. And in other words, all builds must come from your Cloud Build pipeline. Click Edit Policy, select Require Attestations, click Add Attesters, and in the Attester Name box, you can select Built by Cloud Build in the dropdown. Then click to add this attester. Click Save Policy. Now, let's review the policy again and confirm that we're requiring images to be approved by this attester, meaning that all images must come from Cloud Build. Ah, OK. Is this policy now being enforced on my service? Not just yet. Right now, any authenticated user with the right IAM permissions can still deploy images, containers, regardless of where they were built. How do I lock that down? Let's go back to your Cloud Run service and click the Details tab. Where it says Binary Authorization, click Enable. Now, the policy is guarding this service from containers built outside your project. Mm, I feel better now. If I try to deploy a container that wasn't built by Cloud Build in this project, uh, will the system refuse to deploy it? Yeah, try it out. OK, I will go here to Cloud Run. I happen to know that Google provides a sample container for testing. Uh, I don't know how that container was built, but I do know that it wasn't built by Cloud Build in my project. Let's try to deploy it. And it looks like the deployment failed. Perfect. Just what I want. Containers built in my project can be deployed, but not containers built by others. Now, what if I forget to turn on binary authorization for my service? Uh, is there a way to make sure that binary authorization protects all the services in my project? Yes, glad you asked. We support an organization policy for binary authorization. Let's go turn that on. Click the hamburger menu and IAM and admin, then organization policies. Select Allowed Binary Authorization Policies for Cloud Run. Then click Edit. And let's customize this policy and add a rule that allows the default policy. Click Done, then Save. This will take effect within a few minutes. Oh, that was also easy. 
Yeah, and this protects against attackers, but it also helps you ensure that your builds are consistent and that no one in your organization accidentally deploys containers built on their laptops or on other places. Mm, I like that. Uh, now we plugged one hole here and viewers should be able to try this at home pretty easily. If they set this up today, the projects will be a little bit safer. Uh, but Shawen, what is the bigger picture here? How can an organization get up to speed on software supply chain security overall? Great question. Google and the broader community have launched a website called Supply Chain Levels for Software Artifacts. Oh, that's a mouthful. It's abbreviated to SLSA, which is pronounced Salsa. And the website is at salsa.dev. On that website, you can learn about a framework for assessing the security of your supply chain and gradually increasing that security level. We welcome everyone to work with us to level up the supply chain security for the whole software ecosystem. And in fact, what we did together today with Cloud Build and Binary Authorization already meets quite a few of those requirements. Excellent. Thank you for joining me, Xiaowen. You're welcome. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for Xiaowen or me about binary authorization or feedback on this episode, post them in the comments. Also, please let us know what other serverless topics you'd like to hear about on the show. Bye for now.